Hello students, today we are going to start the new activity and its aim is study of the external features of the root, stem, leaf and flower of monocot and dicot plant. Let's start the activity. Before starting the activity, I will tell you what is a monocot and dicot plant. Monocot are the plants in which seeds have only one cotyledon and dicots are the plants in which the seeds have two cotyledon. This is the basic difference you have learned till now. But today I will tell you what is the difference between a monocot and dicot plant according to its leaves, roots as well as the stem. For this activity we need one monocot plant and one dicot plant. For monocot I have taken the maize plant and for the dicot I have taken the tulsi plant that is the holy basil and to study the seeds of dicot and monocot I have taken the seed of maize and seed of pea. Firstly I will explain you the dicot plant that is the tulsi you all have seen the tulsi plant it is also known as the holy basil you can see these are the roots stem and leaves these are the basic things you know about it but the dicot plant always have the tap root it always have the tap root this is the tap root the main root which is coming out from the we can say radical in the seed we always see a radical that radical form these roots this is the primary root root coming out from the primary root is the secondary root and the roots coming out from the secondary root is known as the tertiary roots now function of the root is the attachment with the soil attachment with the substratum and to absorb the water and the nutrients next is the stem this is the stem you can see the stem of a tulsi plant and the branches coming out from it the point from which the leaves arise this point this point this point the point from which the leaves arise that point is known as the node that is known as the node and the distance between two nodes this distance distance between two nodes is known as internode now we will check the type of a leaf this type of leaf you always made in a drawing whenever you draw a leaf you will make this type of a leaf that one line and small small lines are coming out from it these small small lines are the veins and this type of venation is known as reticulate venation this type of venation is always seen in dicot plants. This is all about the dicot plant. Now we will discuss the monocot plant. This is the maize plant which is a monocot plant. You can see these are the leaves of the maize plant. Then the stem, fruit and the last part is the roots. These are the roots the function of the root will remain the same that is the attachment with the substrate now the first thing we will study is the roots these are the roots of maize plant you can see so many roots are coming out from a single point so many roots are coming out from a single point these type of roots are known as adventitious roots Earlier we discussed the tap root which was present in the tulsi plant from a single point single root was arising but at this you can see so many roots are arising from a single point these type of roots are known as adventitious roots which spread out and help in the absorption then you can see this is the stem and these things you can see these are also the extra roots which arise from the node these are the nodes as we discussed in the tulsi plant these are the nodes 
now we will move to the upper portion now you can see a leaf this is a leaf and we will study the venation firstly we will study the venation you can see it have parallel venation this type of venation you can see in banana also this is the main midrib and the veins are moving parallel to each other this is the parallel venation shown by the maize plant then is the flower these are the flowers and when pollination occurs after the pollination this type of fruit arises on it this is the maize you all have seen the maize i am removing the outer covering and in between there are ovules these are the developing seeds these are the developing seeds yellow color maize you always eat these are the developing maize and this was the flower after pollination the ovule convert into the seed now we will discuss the monocot and dicot seed these are the maize seed when you will observe the pc the outer covering this is the outer covering i removed and now you can see the cotyledons two cotyledons these are the two cotyledons of the pea plant and its seed covering this is dicot now i will show you the monocot seed as well this is the monocot maize this is the outer covering of the maize seed coat and this is the single cotyledon of maize here you can see only one cotyledon whereas the two cotyledons were present in the pea plant this is the basic difference between the monocot and dicot plant now we will discuss the type of roots this is the root of a maize you can see that so many roots are arising from a single point this is a single point and so many roots are arising that is forming the bunch of the roots it is forming the bunch of the roots but in the case of tap root this single root arises and then the secondary and the tertiary roots arise from a primary root this is the single root known as the primary root there is the secondary and last is the tertiary roots these are the roots i told you about the monocot and dicot plant then i showed you the different type of roots that is the tap root and the adventitious we discuss about the dicot seed and the monocot seed i hope so you have understood about the all the different parts of the plant of dicot as well as the monocot plant thank you and have a nice day